I feel the need to mention a dream I just had. I just woke up. It's not a very nice dream. I uh, I was walking in the woods with my father in the dream. Uh, a woman was along with us, and all of a sudden, we come across this strange monolith. It's almost built into the into the side of the cross road or in the side of this uh, hill, little lump of a hill, and uh, you know the kind like trees like stumps of trees that are like flying over and the, you can see the inside of the bottom like that only this structure had skulls all over it mean, human skulls they seem so black and oozy I uh I look at him and he seems to peer back at me for some reason. They seem to know my inner thoughts. As if somehow they know it's not just a dream. As if somehow they know that uh, I am who I am. Well, my dad gets the bright idea that he should start messing with him. He takes out his lighter, starts lighting each one of these, because somehow some of these have propane in them, and they start giving off this light as he starts lighting each one. He even manages to take down this big rock from the top of it, where he walked under and pulled it out. Huge rock. He manages to do this. And then he turns about and moves behind the thing and notices the bodies, the decaying corpses that are in this structure. And I mean decaying because they smell terrible. They, they're, they're not alive. They're skulls and they're almost made into the dirt, almost like someone had sacrificed his people then buried them halfway but they're oozing and, and some of the dirt is black like water mixing 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 and mixing and mixing and this place is starting to give me the creeps my dad starts to fancy himself an Indiana Jones and he gets big headed because he thinks he's discovered something but I don't think this thing is worth discovering and I think we should leave it alone so me and this girl we start running away from this structure leaving him by himself we run and run and run through the trees and the, the brush and, and, and we come across these these uh these people who were riding away we, we crawl down and uh, I give her I keep ordering her to crawl and crawl and, and duck and, and she does and we, we keep moving but they're starting to turn around and we have seen this and my mind dawns on me that they these are the people who may have eaten decomposed corpses or or at least killed them well we start hiding behind the trees as they pass on their horses they almost look like cowboys but not no cowboys will be this disturbing and as they pass we somehow come and a horse. We get on the horse and start riding on him. We ride until the distance fades and we can get away. And that is where I woke up. And that is how I started this story with you. And that is how I got online on YouTube and made this. I got to say, it was very it seems so real it seems like like a future like a, an event not of this world but of some other like somehow I was seeing another self 
some distance and gap away on some event of time like a uh, plane of existence where I am not me but I am me and I am there ever still hiding and running away from that disturbing structure half insane with some woman I know nothing about. <laughs>